If you've ever been in an old home, you guys have probably seen these not so great looking doors or maybe you've seen an even not so great looking hallway like this. Well, this is what our hallway looked like when we moved into this house and we obviously knew we had to do something about the hallway and the doors. So now this is what our hallway looks like and our doors and everything looks so modern. So I'm gonna show you guys how we tackled these doors and made them look nice, fresh, and modern. Today, my darling father is here and he's helping us give these doors a makeover. So he has all of this molding that he's been cutting and basically, we are gonna just put moldings on the door just to make them look not so flat, to give them some depth. And then on this door, you guys can see I took the handle off. So I'm just gonna take the rest of these handles off because they're not too cute looking. Um, so I'm going to spray paint these all matte black as well as all of the hinges. Um, so it's just gonna help it look a lot better. We have all the pieces to the door, so next we're just going to clean, ah! We're gonna clean these all off because they're just not really in great shape, and then we're gonna spray paint them. So here we're using this brush to clean them, and I was shocked at how clean they came out. You guys can see the one on the left is the before, and the one on the right is the after. I actually loved how the one on the right looked, and if all of them got that clean and looked that amazing, I wouldn't have sprayed them. But they all didn't end up looking that great. That one was just a lucky one. So anyway, now I'm taking my spray paint and I'm just going over the knobs and this does dry um, a nice matte black, you guys will see in a minute. But I'm just spraying every single piece and including the screws, you don't wanna forget anything. So as you guys can see on the top, it's where it's kind of dry and the bottom on the other side was where it was wet and it dries like a nice matte black and it looks so amazing. So here is the knob all done. We had a bunch of different knobs on the door so I think spraying them all matte black really helped to give our hallway more of a cohesive look and you can't really tell that all the knobs are different. So I got this spray paint at Walmart. It was only $4. We did look into just replacing the knobs and Connor was for that but I wanted to see if we could find a cheaper alternative. Um, the knobs that we found at like the cheapest were about $14 per knob and we had five doors to do and then also we need to get new hinges so everything together just was a lot of money and doing it this way we saved a ton. So here my dad is gluing on the um, pieces of molding that he cut. So you guys can just go to Lowe's and pick out whatever molding you feel will look best on your door. And we used Gorilla Glue for this. We didn't end up nailing these in and they've held up really well. This video was actually filmed back in December. I just haven't had the time to edit this one yet. So now we're just taking duct tape and placing it over the pieces. That way it stays on. And I will show you guys in one minute the exact measurements for all of the moldings that we used. So for the top, we went for more of like a rectangle look and then the bottom, we did more of a square look. So you guys can see here what it looks like. And this door was already primed, so we didn't really have to worry about it, but all the other doors, um, we first put the molding on and then after we did the molding, we decided to go in and prime them. And we decided to do all of this with the doors being hung up. We just felt it was easier that way. So one of our last steps, um, once we took the doors down to paint them, was also take the hinges off to sand those down and to spray those black. So as you guys can see here, I am just spraying these black and it's crazy what a huge difference it makes with just spraying these black. So now we just primed the doors with some bin primer and then after we did that, we just took some white paint. It's like the cheapest one you guys can get at Lowe's from Valspar and I think it was in the color something white. I don't remember what exactly what white we got. But anyway, it was just one of like their basic white colors. So now let's move into the dimensions of this. So for the top rectangle piece, we have it 22 inches long, the piece going across, and the piece going from top to bottom is 38 inches long. 
And now we cut everything at a 45 degree angle and just looks really clean and I love how it looks. We also took some caulk and went over it and it just helped to make everything look really sealed in and tight. And now for this bottom box, we just made it 22 inches long by 22 inches tall because it is a square. <laughs> So that is how easy it is. It was super simple. Thought I'd also show you guys this too because on the same day we were installing our barn door. So we've gotten a lot of barn doors from Amazon. This one is from Amazon. It's so easy. You just put all of these like slats together and then you put the side pieces on. There's some dowels on the side that hold it together. And then you can make different designs in the middle. You could just go um, across or you can make an X like we did. And then you just screw them in. I think this door was only like $150, um, which is so cheap because if you try to buy barn doors that are pre-made, they can be hundreds of dollars, if not thousand plus. So we love it we're still trying to decide on what color to paint it the barn door in our bedroom is a natural color and we just stained it this like really natural wood color which we love so we're trying to figure that out i can leave this barn door link down below if i forget just remind me and i will post it there but the hardest part about hanging barn doors is hanging the barn door it is Probably the worst part, Connor and I always struggle with this. The instructions usually aren't written out so well and it can be kind of difficult and time consuming. You would think it would be like super easy and simple, but especially for our house where all the studs weren't exactly where they should be, um, it made it a little bit more difficult. So maybe if you have a newer construction house, it would be easier. We also found that the barn door roller was great as a back massager. So we kept doing this to each other because we were just super exhausted this day and it felt amazing. But anyway, here is what the final barn door looks like. I love how this came out. Um, like I said, we're still deciding on the color. We actually just like it looking really natural like this. Obviously we should put some sort of like stain on it or something, but we do have a pink color we may use for it. We're still deciding. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video and hopefully this helps you if you need to refresh up your old doors for super cheap. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.